You said you wanted to win the NBA Cup, then went out there and won it. Great work, start to finish. Every right. question they asked, we answered. And our rivals, they saw it all. This will give us that edge that I was talking about, y'all. And now that's our main focus. All right. Gearing up for a title run. Which means we need you at your best. Let's Great. talk about goals for the second half. Which one of these stands out to you? I want to be rookie of the year. Is that right? All right? Don't get me wrong. The most important thing to me in this world is winning, but I'm also a competitor. And so I want to prove that I'm the best in my class. And if I do that, it'll put us in great shape when it comes time for the playoffs. The team comes first, always. But it's only natural to want a little recognition, and we know how to help make that happen. Right. You show out against top rookies, yeah. and you'll have the media eating out of your hand when come voting time. Just make sure you don't lose sight of the bigger picture. Everything you do, you do to help the team win. Team comes first, always. I just want my cake and eat it too. Fantastic, sounds like we're in total alignment. Just remember, every moment matters. Give everything you've got to this and you'll be rewarded. MP, what up, man? I like your game. Man, Mikael Bridges, man, that means a lot to me, man. I appreciate that, for real. But don't get it twisted, though. Yeah. I'm not gonna take it easy on you. You already know, I know that. But hey, I do want to see if you want to do a jersey swap after the game. It's easy, come on. All right. Okay, okay. I like that confidence. Yeah, you already know. We'll see you after the game then. All right. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. Alongside Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce on the sidelines. And now the opening lineup for New York. It's Brunson, DiVincenzo, Bridges, and Hart. A bunch of Wildcats out there on the floor. And it's Randall in at the center position. And for the Thunder, Shea and Caruso are the backcourt pair. Then there's Lou Dort. Then there's Holmgren. And it's DJ in at the... From deep. Here's DJ. Brunson defending. Oh, that was nasty. Hey, Shea Gilgis-Alexander with the rebound. Here's DJ. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. He's got 12. <laughs> They're not messing around. There's success out there. Grant, how about the rise of OKC in just two years, transforming from a 24-win team to the top seed? Incredible, B.A. The Thunder drafted well. They gave those picks lots of playing time. Plus, they made some fantastic trades. And of course, don't forget, OKC still has a boatload of picks. Thunder will be building it. A minute 42 left to play in the half. And he gets that one. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason. To... DJ's got his fifth rebound in this one. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. They, they deserve the win. Here's DJ. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the... And so Oklahoma City takes this one, and by a big margin. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everybody. Okay, MP. I didn't know you was nice like that. Hey, you deserve this jersey. <laughs> Thanks, man. You're definitely the toughest defender I've had so far. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Here you go. Here you go, man. Good luck. Appreciate it. Keep doing your thing, man. Hey, got you. MP, what's up, my man? You're hooping lately. Man, that means a lot. You know I've been a fan of yours for a minute now. Nah, I make me feel old, man. Nah, that's just respect. Yo, you wanna trade jerseys after the game? I'm flattered, but I can't give them out that easy, man. You gotta earn it. All right, I'll do that. You got less humble real quick, huh? All right, let's do it.
It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And tonight it'll be the Oklahoma City Thunder going up against the New York Knicks here in New York. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brent Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. Now the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. In the backcourt, we'll see Gilgis Alexander and Caruso. EJ out there with Chet Holmgren. And it's Dort in at the three, the small forward. And for the Knicks, the backcourt pair just keeps coming. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. Dick. Here's DJ. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got five. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Holmgren, the screen. Bucket is good. Uh, when there's a pick set up, got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coach media. The people in the know know how good of a defender he is. Drills it from outside. Well, the D has done a very to three run. Caruso kicks to DJ. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Yeah, those are that cut was wide open. And to reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Sharing the wing spot, it'll be Caruso and Williams. Chad Holmgren out there with DJ. And it's Gilgis Alexander into the point. something in halftime going from a mild mannered half court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg and enemy territory no ones. That's exactly right. But with the way they control the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it. That's how to get it done on the road. And that's gonna do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Rick Perry, and David Aldridge. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you next time. Tough game out there, man. You got that dog in you for real. Uh, thanks, man. I'm going to use this jersey as inspiration to keep grinding. Thank you, man. This means a lot. Of course, anytime. Good luck the rest of the season. You too. Stay healthy. <laughs> Yo, what's good, MP? It's good, man. I bro. I watch you. You got a mean bag. Keep going, bro. Man, that's big time coming from you, man. I study your game. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But remember, nothing in this league is given to you. You got to earn it. Trust me. I'm speaking from experience. Take your time. All right, man. Well, look, I want to get that jersey from you after the game. What's up with that? Uh, I'm going to have to tell you. You got to earn it, man. Oh, so you like to talk. That's about, let's make some shake down. You already know. All right. All right. Hello, fans. Welcome to this presentation of the NBA Sunday Night Action right here on 2K Sports. Along with coach Stan Van Gundy and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. Hall of Famer David Aldridge will be joining us from the sidelines moments from now. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. In the backcourt, we'll see Gilgis Alexander and Caruso. EJ out there with Chet Holmgren. And it's Williams at the three. And for Portland, the wings, Sharp and Avdia. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Scoot Henderson. And it's Kamare in at the fourth. We're only around halfway through this very long season, GA. This is when the grind, I think, really kicks in. Yeah, you, you think about the physical and mental toll this game takes on you. And I miss being out there, but man, I tell you, it can be a grind. It can here tonight. 0 for 3 from the floor so far. Not the start they had in mind. They need to just take a breath, reset. In the contract, Portland's added a guy who should help them win now and down the line. Guys, it appears Avia is going to be a pretty seamless. Holmgren kicks to Caruso. It's DJ atop the key. It's good from long range. 
taken that shot even if he didn't get it to go. Grills the three-pointer. And that's now. He came into the league, and he's continued to build on that. Good on the shot. And that's now 33 points for DJ. Dia in at the three side. That's the group on the floor for Portland. DJ and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Well, he's been in. Donovan Mitchell there. Henderson makes some really and good. He hits it again. Another 50. Here's DJ. Here again. Another one falls. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that about wraps it up. So now for Greg Anthony, Stan Van Gundy, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone. That's good work. You earned this, man. You'll be seeing me again, though. Come on, bro. I'll stay ready. <laughs> All right, that's a bet. Appreciate you, bro. And that's good work. Keep going, son. You too. Good, good luck good the rest season. of the season. Yes, sir. Yep. And P, what's up? Chilling, man. Chilling. Yo, you want to do a jersey swap after the game? I don't know, man. I don't do that too much. Oh, come on, man. It'll be fun. I know. You want to hang my jersey up in your trophy room? You know what? If you win, I'll think about it. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. You ready? If you say so. Good luck, bro. It's a very special day on the calendar. Noche Latina, commemorating the NBA's connection to Latin heritage and culture. Along with Stan Van Gundy and Hall of Famer Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce will be with us courtside. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Caruso and Williams make up the perimeter. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then it's Chet Holmgren, and it's DJ in at the four. And for San Antonio, Sohan and Wimby are the bigs. Vassell and Johnson are the two and the three. And it's Paul in at the point. And in the front end of the back-to-back, -back, what's important? Well, B.A., most coaches treat this one like a regular game. Try to win. Don't worry about minutes. Tomorrow, they may adjust the rotations a bit. Well, Victor doesn't have too far to go. I mean, he just pops up to the rim, makes it look so easy. DJ passes to Holmgren. Let's it fly. And he buries that one. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, I had a chance to talk to the head coach for San Antonio. We were talking about Chet Holmgren, the versatility at both ends. And coach pointed out one thing in particular, saying that Chet has the ability to create for himself. He's a tremendous ball handler for his size. Opportunity you don't want to waste. Driving to the basket. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. He has six. With the crossover, jams it in off a great move. The offensive game play percentage so far. The floater, and he lays it in. DJ's got 14 points that jumps out. It's the way he moves with that height. Brian, I've been around the NBA a long time. Chance to even reach new fans as well. Here's DJ. Against Atlanta, he was really on his game. And he Here's DJ. Launches it, fires in the triple. DJ's got 28 scoring, but he is a great facilitator. Old school, traditional point guard makes everybody better. You don't see many of those anymore. Yes. Here's DJ. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter here. And the dunk to finish it off. Up, left side Joe. Here's DJ. Let's it fly from 18. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. DJ. And so Oklahoma City takes this one and by a big margin. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge and they earned this dub. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. With Grant Hill, Stan Van Gundy, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.
Good game, MP. Still want that jersey? Yeah, man, for sure. You saw how hard I was working out there. Then let's do it. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Hey, you earned it, bro. You did your thing, bro. Good luck the rest of the season. You too, man. Stay healthy. You too, man. Huge moment on the show today is I am ready to unveil my ultimate NBA Dynasty rankings. All right, I mean, it took you long enough. Actually, he brought this up two weeks ago. Finally, Toby says something useful. Oh, thank you. I mean, it would have taken me 20 minutes, but maybe that's because I know how to ball. No one knows more than me, Russell, Whatever. about anything. Oof, that is patently false. And you can patently shut it. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Maybe not, Toby. I'm not a book boy like you, but book I boy. am a knower of ball, and I am ready to unveil my dynasty list. All right, just, just say it already. Uh. Do we need a drum roll? All right, here we go. In reverse order, please hold your applause mm -hmm. until the <laughs> end. Number nine, Hakeem's Rockets. I like that. Right. I like yeah. that. Number That's eight. Good. Isaiah's bad okay. boy Pistons. Piston, I, yes. Number seven, LeBron's big three heat. Number six, Bird's big three Celtics. Number five, Steph's Warriors. Number four, Duncan's Spurs. Number three, Kobe's Lakers. Number two, Magic's Showtime Lakers. And number one. I mean, it's you obviously, it's obviously Jordan's, it's balls. Jordan's balls. Wrong! It's Jordan's balls! Mm. Yeah, that's what I said. No spoilers, Russ. I mean, we both said it already. Well, we could debate the definition of spoiler all day long, but what, what I want to know is, what do you think? I mean, quite frankly, it's a shockingly coherent list, especially for you, Jalen. Uh, but, you know, I think... It's some of the placement is uh, debatable. Nobody cares, Toby. Russ, what do you think? You're a hooper. How'd I do? Honestly, I think my biggest thing is Duncan Spurs. You know, I feel like like you put him a little high. What about five championships? Don't you no, understand? No, no, I know. It's Russell? just it's how long it took to get him. You know, it was Duncan's like... first championship came in 1999, and his last was in 2014. That's a 16 year span. Right, and the Warriors, who you put below them, won four in nine years. I mean, I could even make it the case for the Celtics being more dominant, winning three and seven, including five finals appearances and going up against those great Lakers teams. Plus, I might put Larry over Steph if we're keeping it 100. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, those are interesting points you both make. It's clear you spent a lot of time thinking about this. And for that, I, you know, I commend you. Unfortunately, it pains me to say this, but you're both unbelievably wrong and stupid. Okay, we don't need to make it personal, Jalen. It's, it's okay to disagree. Everything is personal, Russ. This is war. Pretty sure this is a TV show. That it is, Toby, which means it's time for a quick commercial break. Back with more Jalen Murphy show after this.